Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you how you can clean up your Lubuntu 10.10 system. So when working on your system for more than one or two months you might install some packages and reinstall and deinstall, remove and manage some packages, the installation and uh, the removal of them. But what's very interesting is that apt itself keeps in cache for those packages that you've downloaded and you don't might use it already those p uh, this package because you removed it but it's still in this apt cache so uh, let me show you first of all the cache of what I'm talking about you can find this under slash var slash cache slash apt and here you can find the archives and here you can see I have lots and lots of Debian packages you might have even more when you use this system often and as you can see let me right click and go to the properties here it's about uh, 123 um, dot 4 megabytes so you might want to remove them so to remove them you just go to the menu accessories open up Alex terminal and then let me first make the font size a little bit bigger so you can see something and then type in sudo apt get clean and what this does is removing all those dep packages that were once downloaded uh, and are no longer used. So as you can see here it's open office, open JDK what I installed once but I don't have it installed now so I don't need those packages because I won't install open office any anytime soon. So let's remove this sudo up get clean and as you can see here those packages got deleted and you can see in the properties now we have 28 kilobytes uh, uh, big in size this uh, archives cache from apt so besides apt there's some other programs that keep their cache but not under var cache like apt does as you can see here there's some other applications but those are basically system applications and they need to store their cache here but what I what's interesting is our user applications cache basically so we go to our user folder home directory and we will choose to view or show hidden files here in the view menu and here you can see a cache directory and if you click in here you can see some application caches and uh, just like Audacious which stores some thumbs for its skins and there is Chromium. This is one very important. Uh, it stores its web cache basically here and as you can see it's quite big this web cache with all the stuff that you've surfed to and yeah all different also flash videos that you made uh, that, that you might watched s once they are stored here and you might want to delete this. There's a hard way to do this just simply mark those and uh, delete them but the more elegant way to do this is via the application so we will open up Chromium so here we have Chromium and here you can see all the visited sites and some other stuff and in the menu you will find under tools the clear browsing data 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 and here you can choose to clear those files that you don't want to have anymore just like the cache file I want to empty the cache file I want to clear the download history and the browsing history I can also delete cookies and other site data uh, clear saved passwords or saved form data and I can clear data from this period so I can uh, choose uh, to 
clear only data from the last hour, the last day, the last week, last four weeks. But I want to clear everything up. So let me choose everything here, the three options and clear browsing data. And as you can see, also my most visited sites got changed here. And if you go to the directory here, you can see all the files are gone and we now have more space left on our hard drive. So this is for browsing. There is also another nice and interesting way to clean up some packages that you might have installed once and then removed, but not with all the configuration files. So when you remove a package normally with apt, you type in sudo apt get remove and then the package name. But this will only remove the package and not the configuration files of this package. So what you want to do when you want to completely remove this package is type in purge and then package name. This will remove everything that was installed from this package. But normally I can understand because I'm doing it uh, the same way I'm using remove. And when using remove all those configuration files of the different applications that you once installed are still stored in your system. And if you want to remove them, there's a nice little script I found. I think it was on the on the Canotix, Canotix, um, another Linux distribution website. It's in a small um, sh script, bash script, basically. Let me show you this one here. It's called remove orphans. And what it will do is first of all test if you are a root user. Uh, so you need to do this, uh, execute this command with uh, sudo writes, with root writes, basically. So what will it do? It will simply store or it will simply execute the dpackage minus l, which will give you a uh, list of all the packages that are installed in some way. And let me do this in a new terminal window here. As you can see here, I can see all my packages that are installed. The I is, or the double I is an indicator, therefore, that those packages are installed. But you can also see some of them, mm, not in this list here, but you might also see uh, some of those packages don't have a double I here, but an RC. And this means resources are somewhere available, but the package is not installed anymore. And this is what this script does. It grabs, so it filters those packages with uh, RC at front and will then simply remove it with the package purge. So let me execute the script here by running user local bin remove orphans and of course you must be root to execute the script don't forget this and yeah it will simply clean up all those packages which uh, were installed some some time ago and then left somehow uh, some resource data and yeah this is basically everything for this screencast i showed you how you can clean up your apt cache which will bring depend depending on your uh, on how much you downloaded of those packages, and how much you installed. It can bring you a lot of uh, free hard drive space back again. Then I showed you how to clean up the Chromium cache, and at uh, least but last the remove orphans. I showed you how you can remove those packages that you think that you've removed them but which stores some configuration files still and yeah this is basically everything for this screencast i hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching